Hey guys, Kiwi here. Thanks for clicking my video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a forum signature. This will probably be a multi-part video, so this will be part one. And the first thing you're going to have to do is have an image editing program like GIMP or Photoshop. I'm going to be using Photoshop. So you're going to hit File, New, choose your dimensions, go with like 350 and 120, make my background transparent, and OK. Good to go. That looks pretty good. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer. Haven't used Photoshop in forever. I just got Photoshop back and getting back into making signatures. I'm going to hit File, Place, go to my desktop because I had some renders and stuff I saved there. I'll go to Renders and I'll choose this End War one. That looks pretty cool. Hold Shift and resize it after placing it. If you don't hold shift, it may come out weird. Make it a little bigger. There, that looks pretty good. Then go back and enter. Uh, right click on it and rasterize it. And we're going to have to get rid of this little thing here. Oops. Don't want that brush. Make it smaller and make it that's fuzzy and just erase out that little watermark people put that in when they make things and then I'm gonna import like some robot looking crazy stuff remember hold shift like rotate it right now I'm basically building a background and so I'm just gonna use all kinds of crazy looking stuff Hit enter, rasterize it, place again, uh, go with this robot now, hold shift, and then there. Enter, rasterize, shift, merge layers. The best way to learn all this stuff though honestly is just to play around in Photoshop this isn't meant to be like a step-by-step -step guide it's just meant to be like kind of I don't know it's like meant to be just a little thing like kind of how you watch someone do something and you can kind of learn stuff that way so honestly the best advice I can give you is just to play around in Photoshop and then place again just you know half of the whole background covered and hold shift, adjust it, rotatorate it, and hit enter, rasterize, shift, and merge layers. Now I'm going to duplicate my bottom layer, whatever, name it, whatever that is, go to filter. I think it's under noise or distort. Yes, it is. Ocean Ripple, use like 11 and 10, I guess. Okay. And then set that one to screen. That's looking pretty good. Alright, gonna duplicate that again. And then put a filter on it. Blur this time, Gaussian blur. And bring that up a bit to here. Set that to, I think, overlay? No, 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 not overlay. Screen. Then shift, shift, merge layers. Make a new layer. Bring that one down. Duplicate this one. Hit OK. On the bottom one, hit filter, blur. Gaussian blur, okay. That kind of gives it a little glow around this one. Improves it a little, makes it better. Now for this one, hit file, place, and then I'm going to put in a Cinema 4D, CAD, whatever. I'm going to go with this ice cap one, that's pretty pro. Stretch it out. And then bring it up. Stretch it out this way. And then hit enter. 
rasterize it and then make it uh overlay yeah overlay and then I'm gonna hit my eraser yeah I already have that and I'm gonna wanna erase a little off the face or the focal point of the render cause you don't wanna have too much stuff on your focal uh... control z that control alt z that a bit and then that looks pretty good so set that to actually let's see how no screen looks terrible saturation no luminosity no color color looks pretty pro alright make a new layer again place again add in another c4d I think I'll go with this one. Shift, stretch it out a little. And one of the main things to do when making a signature is just try to make sure that when you're putting stuff in like a Cinema 4D thing, that it's going in like the same direction or like like it just flows with your focal. Because if it doesn't flow, then that's going to just ruin your signature. And again, gonna erase a little off the focal. Uh, 